Thank you, thank you for being here. Well, well, well. Yes, another repotting video. Because this one is Lelia Zip. And this is one year of semi-hydro. Self-watering, LECA, whichever you prefer. It was bought on 14th of November in 2019. So I had an orchid that came pretty much rootless and you saw the support and I needed to make sure that at the beginning of the season when I saw root growth coming, I was protecting it with a microfiber. That one root that came has developed into all of this gorgeousness that we see here. And granted, this orchid would be able to su sustain itself another year in the same pot and do quite well. No reason to be repotting it now, except that I thought I would give it a bigger pot now that it is growing new roots, clean up the insides, which I have never done because I used the old roots as anchoring. And thirdly, give it the opportunity then to develop in its new and bigger pot so that I hope I can get some blooms out of it at some point. And that is why I am here now in the middle of November a year after receiving this orchid, doing a cleanup despite normally waiting two or three years. But if it's going to show me that it is this vigorous, and it has shown me from the roots that I can see, that it is time to have a look-see, as I'm not changing its media, I am not going to be too stressed about this one. I would love to see me some Lelia zip blooms. So thank you very, very much for clicking on this video and being here for another repot. I don't know if this Lelia zip is a juvenile, I know it's not a seedling anymore, but I have no idea if it is too small to bloom or why it hasn't bloomed for me. You can see I have two leads of the rhizome from the back leading towards the front, the more mature part of the plant. So at some point it branched and I only got a very small little new growth here to begin with, which is normal for the transition phase. And the one I'm holding now is the one of the normal time of year of the season. I would like to see that this lead would produce something at some point. But I guess that will be something for next season. Right now it's producing roots and that is why it's caught my attention. And I want to make sure that it continues to do well. Also, it's a climber. To some degree, the back pseudobulbs are lower than what has been growing around the front. So I will address that as well in my potting up, unless I can remove them which isn't too bad. She has enough energy to sustain herself. I'm just wary of the time of year to be doing this. And I could always... Oh, we have a few more warm days. Let's take care of this now. Because my intention is not to disturb this orchid for another two years. I don't know if that's a, an eye to be considering don't know if it has enough storage. We'll see. We'll see afterwards. Decision not made whether I'm going to keep it. We'll take this little back one off as well. And just clean up a bit. 
before we put the cinnamon on. See if I have any more debris I need to consider. Yeah, we're going to have a couple of more warm days. So I'm just going to take advantage of that instead of cutting a corner here now and saying, ah, never mind, don't worry about it. Why not take care of it straight away? Now, where I'm gonna put the cinnamon, I have beautiful roots underneath. So I'm going to protect those with some microfiber in case the cinnamon does come off the paintbrush. Like so. There we go. I think we can all that good. I meant to address this orchid yesterday. It just got quite windy, so filming was not possible. So we'll take care of that and then get ready for the new pot. I had ceramics in the bottom of this pot because of the fact that the orchid had no roots, so I was simulating the sphagnum moss. But we don't need that anymore. What we do need is our microfiber. And our support, or maybe not. Do I need the support? Hmm. I did initially put a support because, again, I had only a, a few roots that I could use as anchoring. So I put a support in, but I'm not sure I need it anymore. It wouldn't hurt it though. It doesn't hurt to have the support in, but I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. Just because in case there is a spike that comes out that is a bit floppy, I can take care of that. Right. Lekker. So raising the support up is pretty simple. I don't need to make a new one. I'm just going to put lecker in the bottom. Taking the loop into consideration there. And on top of that goes my support. And there we have it, a raised up support. Now, we have our two ends right there. This isn't required anymore. And as she might react with some new grow growing leads in the back, I'm going to put her somewhat in the middle and a little bit lower because that's too high. I can always raise her up afterwards, but I don't want to force the root system down into a position where it isn't naturally already resting. And I saw an old root there. What are you doing in my new Lekka? There we go. Let's try that again. That's better, I think. Alrighty. Somewhat in the middle, plenty of room to grow. These are the things I'm looking at right now. There's another old root that can come off while we're at it. One year of roots. Actually, not really, since, um, when was it, April? April is when she started growing roots. So this root ball is six months old. That's all right, not too shabby. So I don't want her pushing her way forward while I fill up with Lekka. Just want to secure the Lekka in the gaps below 
to avoid the orchid shifting in the pot while I get more. And hopefully we get some blooms. And then, because she came from Luke, I am somewhat confident that this is a zip. I've had so many mislabeled orchids. Thanks to everybody that's helped me identify my orchids. Well, since I started my channel, I really appreciate that. On one hand, it is annoying because then you realize the nursery's gotten away with it again. And on the other hand, look, I just broke a root tip. Right there. Yeah. Very annoying. But on the other hand, it's nice to know what I've got. I appreciate that information a lot. So I keep my Lelia zip on the east side of my growing areas. Very, very high light. At least six hours of sun every day during the summer months. And um, yeah, no, I mean, I've got the nice freckling showing me it's got plenty of light. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's just a maturity thing for this one. It's going to give it a bit of a shake, I think. It needs a shake or a tap because I just want to make sure, well, I've broken one root tip. Where is the other one? Ah, it's sub suspended over here. All right, let's go. This is part, the part I don't really like doing. It's the most precarious part for the orchid. Just hold her down. I'm going to leave the back end of the rhizome exposed where I have applied the cinnamon so that air can get in there and help dry things out. But there will be a little bit of lecker required back there because of the roots that are used to a very wet environment. So we'll be gentle about that. Maybe we can encourage these new roots that are growing right there to stay down. What a fiddle. In some ways, it was a quick repot, but the detail now in getting it established and situated, a little bit of a fiddle. I'm going to pick out some smaller Lekka beads from my little tub there and just place it around the top of these roots to encourage them to stay down and not go where they think they can go up. Just a little bit below the rim so they don't keep circling around the rim of those pots. That's one of the things about the self-watering is that there are these ridges in the pots. And if I could get just plain white ones that are perfectly straight with a slight lip so that I can have them over the mask, I would also do that because then I'm not always thinking about the roots catching on this ridge and just circling and circling and not getting anywhere. And something I recognize about this method is that the pots, although they fit, they do have a little downside to them. Now there's one of the rhizomes. One Lekka still being stubborn, wants to go there. You're going to go there. You build a little bit of a mountain around the ones I would like to keep in the pot. You stay there. And then, of course, when I move her, it'll start rolling back down. But for the time being, this is about as good as I'm going to get things. And let me just get a few more little ones out for this area here. See if I can tease them down in there. A little bit more positioned. And hopefully that root tip will grow down into the media. And then I can fill up this gap eventually with complete lecca. And I sound very staccato. And I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know why. 
because I'm looking and concentrating and trying to talk at the same time. Multitasking issues here. But you get the point, I think. And I hope to get some blooms in the future. No sign of any blooms yet at all, but hopefully soon. So I've got that, I've got that, double check. How is the status around in here? To me, this is looking good. And the back rhizome is also exposed where I cut it, letting it dry out. And eventually, as I mentioned, I will fill that up. All we need now is just to fill up the reservoir. This is just fertilized water from before and we need the tag. I actually had this orchid soaked yesterday, so it wasn't like today I needed to do it again. I wasn't, we had some warm temperatures, but it wasn't like I needed to soak again to relieve the roots from the edge of the pot. So all good. And just a real quickie. If you have Lelia Zip and you've gotten it to bloom, I would be really interested whether you've got a, whether you had a seedling, a juvenile, or you got a blooming sized zip. If you would then let me know what you see the size of my leaves and my orchid. Is this now a blooming size or do I have to wait another two years? Those are the things I'm not entirely sure about because when I see Lady a zip on videos, I can't tell the size and compare my size according to someone else's who has got it blooming. I'd really like to know, am I still dealing with a juvenile or are we almost blooming size? Are we there yet? So thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. All the time that you spend and take out of your day to watch me do what I do while I yap away at you and the hedge. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye.